my speech, my presentation is going to focus on three parts. First of all, is how to choose a topic that is suitable for your audience. Number two, how to connect with your audience. And then number three, how to capture or keep your audience's attention. Let's talk about how to choose a topic that is suitable for your audience. So this is an interesting one because if you're a new speaker, you always ask yourself the question, what could I possibly talk about? What interesting stories or things do I have to share? Well, the truth of the matter is you have a lot to share. Each and every one of us has interesting stories and experience, but there is one big problem. There's one big problem. You are boring. You are probably not famous. What I mean by this is that, to be honest with you, when you see a very famous speaker speaking, the truth is they're not exactly the best speakers. Um, they don't have great body language. They're not necessarily great performers, but they've accomplished so much in their lives or they have great milestones that we are inclined to listen to whatever they have to say. So for you, if you are not a super famous or a super accomplished person, well, it's important that you understand your audience's needs. So what I mean by that is wherever you are going to speak, even if it's in a public speaking club, if it's in your office, if you're doing it for a school event, you must know exactly what your audience wants. So your key audience, your key target audience may be your boss, it may be your parents, it might be your teacher, I'm not sure, but you must know exactly what they want. Because once you know what they want, then it's very easy to think about a topic or the stories or the content that you want to put in your speech that can make them happy, that can give them something of value. If most of your audience is a bit younger, perhaps they're just beginning their careers, maybe they're not as experienced, well, when you think of topics, remember, you might want to relate to what they want, okay? So again, when it comes to thinking of a topic for your audience, we all have something to share, but if we can't think of a topic or content that has value for your audience, then you're probably going to waste your time because the truth of the matter is most people are not willing to listen to what you have to say unless you're very famous, okay? Number two, ladies and gentlemen, is how to connect to your audience. Does anyone here have problems connecting with your audience? Anyone here? Anyone? Yes. You tell me. You can... <laughs> okay. All right. So, the thing is, all of us come from different backgrounds, from different countries, from different ages, right? And from different careers and all those different kinds of things. And so because of that, especially in a format like this, right, where there's so many different people, how many people are here today? 80 people, too little, but anyways, there are 80 different people here. And all of us are a little bit different in our own separate ways. So how can I, if I have a key message in my speech, how can I make sure everyone is happy, that everyone understands what I'm trying to say, that everyone agrees with me? Well, there's a few things. First and foremost, not everyone is going to agree with you. Don't ever try to make the entire room agree with you because you're just wasting your time. Don't try to make the entire room agree with you. It's not possible. But what you should definitely do is you should focus on, again, your target audience, what they want. So as an example, if you are speaking to a giant group of people and say an event, uh, maybe you're trying to sell something. Well, you have people that just came to the meeting today, and then you have the people that will potentially buy from you. Obviously, the people that are going to buy from you or potentially buy from you, those are the people you should be focusing on, right, to make them agree with you. Now, here is the most important thing. Every speech you do, you always want to try to make it have your own personal style, your own stories, your own example, because the best thing you could do as a public speaker is be yourself, right? That's what makes you different, unique, and charming to everyone. But in order to connect to your audience, you have to generalize generalize your key message. Generalize means when you take something 
and you make it understandable, acceptable for everyone. You make it general. Let me give you an example. So a lot of people say in their speech, never give up, make the extra effort, <laughs> right? A very common, <laughs> I see some people are laughing. Thank you for giving me face. This is very difficult online, okay? Uh, so never give up, always give a lot of extra effort. Well, this is a very common key message of any speech, right? Never give up. The problem is if I tell you, hey, you, never give up, never give up. Well, that's too simple. It's too broad. It's too vague. So in order to generalize this key message, what we want to do is we want to rephrase this or give an example or a story that relates to different types of people. For example, if we were talking about never giving up, right? Perhaps the student, yes, I know all this homework seems really hard. All this extra studying seems really difficult, but I promise you young man or young lady that if you never give up, if you put in that extra effort that it will pay off in the future and your life will be a lot easier because of this. If we're talking about the person who perhaps wants to spend more time with their family or lose some weight, my friend, never give up. Make that extra effort. If you can only get to the gym at five o'clock in the morning, or if you can only do it after work, if you have that time, make that extra effort because you won't find any other time. That's the only time you have. You must utilize it or else you will never achieve your goal. Perhaps it's talking about the entrepreneur. You get what I'm saying. To generalize your key message again means whatever your key message is, never give up, keep on trying, things will get better. The more you can make it relatable, understandable, or perhaps usable for someone in your audience, your key uh, target audience, the more you will be able to relate to them, all right? Is anyone following me so far? I see uh, some people are, are sitting like this, like yeah. Josie. I can't, I can't tell if she's interested or bored. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm interested. Okay. Okay. Very Just making interested. Sure. Okay. <laughs> the last part I want to talk to you about today, and then we'll get into our Q&A, is how to capture your audience's attention. Let me ask you an honest question right now. An honest question right now. What do you think about my performance? Not about the content, but my performance right now. Great. Why? Energetic. You just look very professional. Oh, no my t-shirt? <laughs> okay. Your, Thank you. Your, your tone, your body language, and Thank your you. voice, oh, and go, your content. Go, go, go. Oh, we don't, we don't have <laughs> and your haircut. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank you. Enough. Okay. Cut her mic. Cut her mic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. What I'm trying to point out to you right now is, listen, I have a gallery view on us so I can see all of your faces right now. I am looking directly into the camera as if I were looking into your eyes, because this way it seems like we're making eye contact. And I'm giving you my absolute best performance right now, because this is a way for me to capture your attention. If I was sitting slumped back like this and I was doing the regular way, okay, wait, well, the RG, let me put my RG on, okay, my mic and, hey, hello, hi, everybody. It's not the same. You got to give it your all. You got to give it your passion because the technique of your energy, your body language, that is going to make the content of what you're saying that much better, okay? So remember that. The second thing is engagement engagement. So you'll notice everyone that I have been doing something this entire speech. Can anyone tell me what it is? Um, engage with the audience, like How? making sure everyone is asking questions, questions and making sure everyone is on the same page with you and following you Thank and you understand what we're talking about. Okay. This is the, the top student right here. Thank you very much, Claire. The key is, right, engagement is always important. So one way is to simply ask a lot of questions, right? You'll notice I'm asking questions repeatedly during my speech, a very simple method. Even though I'm not in front of you right now, even though I'm not talking to you directly, I can see some of your faces right now are doing this. Hmm, right? Because, oh, thank you. I saw Andreas. Thank you for the nod right there. I can see that you are agreeing with me. 
And that is a way for me to engage with you without talking to you directly. Here's the second part. I know for a fact, some of you have been looking at your WeChat during my speech. If you have been looking at your WeChat, if you looked at your WeChat in the last 15 minutes, raise your hand right now. Tell me in the comments right now, who looked at their WeChat last? Oh, you, you, I can't believe, of course it's only, of course only the boys did it, none of the girls. This, this is why girls are always better students than boys. <laughs> okay, anyone who didn't, thank you. But the truth of the matter is, especially for online, it is too difficult to hold everyone's attention. So right now I'm sweating. I'm, I'm giving you my best right now because it's the only way I can capture it. And by asking questions, it forces your audience to pay attention, to pay attention to what you have to say. All right. This is also very helpful for when you have a tough audience member who probably disagrees with what you have to say or isn't paying attention. All right. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I will quickly recap to choose a good topic for your audience. Of course, understand their needs. Remember, uh, you are simply delivering the value to them. However, it is your audience. They are the ones that is the destination. Without a destination, well, what's the point? Okay. Understand what your key audience wants. Think of a topic. And then in order to relate to them, to connect with them, Think about how you can generalize or personalize your key message to make them happy, to make them say, hey, what he's saying, that can also work for me, or that also applies to my life. And then number three, in order to better capture your audience's attention, give it your all, passion, 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 and engage. Which then